can watch. And I am going to uh, highlight myself. And then we are going to start. So this is really, really casual. Um, like I said, I was uh, last minute. I know I know I want to do this, but oh, I didn't know perfect. when uh, I wanted to do it. The question oh, started pouring in today, so I thought, you know what, let me just fire this out and um, uh, let you guys kind of have like a little, little uh, powwow. And I'll let you guys ask your questions after I kind of go through everything. Um, uh, the hardest the part for me, I think, throughout this process is is not knowing what what parts people have downloaded and what parts people haven't and 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 what pieces people haven't gotten what pieces people have so first i want to kind of explain um the, the method to my madness um first off uh i really didn't know what i was planning on doing um this whole thing sort of evolved as i was creating it. Um, I knew I wanted to get a lot of the loyal people back um, into the realm. I think a lot of you guys have disappeared and I love that I'm seeing you guys again. I love that you guys tuned back in. Um, so that's awesome. And, and since I do have you guys all here, um, look for your emails because as soon as you um, sign up for your loyal membership again, um, I've changed things and um, because there, there has been sort of a disconnect with loyal members, um, I've now included um, uh, Zoom sessions when you, when you sign up because I really don't want to lose that connection. And uh, luckily the people that, um, that have joined with me since COVID, um, I know them face to face more than I know the people that I work with. Uh, for years, you guys, because there was no Zoom. And so now that we have this ability, I, I would love to uh, take that time with you guys. So um, look for those emails as soon as you uh, re-enroll for your, your loyal email that explains all this and you can get um, a, um, a, a, or a coupon code to sign up for uh, a meeting with me as soon as you're and then another one six months in. So um, this way we, we can kind of keep in touch and also um, uh, keep your goals active the whole time. All right, so with that being said, um, I was kind of thinking about what can I do and I wanted to do something that would mostly re-engage the group and re-engage your habits. Um, you guys know from day one, there's nothing that has changed about me in the sense of that habit loop. That is the most important thing. And so aside from what you guys see, um, what, what my intention was in developing this program was you all to start back with the habits. And you might notice I kept it brief in that I didn't I didn't make all of these, um, the, the charts include, um, you know, log and measure and weigh and do all that stuff because those are things that I've taught you all along. Um, I've included other things um, that really haven't been criteria for you as members in my program, but that are so important and things that I miss members struggling with um, that are impacting their weight and impacting their habits, such as sugar addiction, um, such as uh, sodium. Um, I know a lot of you do pay attention to sodium, but a lot of you don't. And the other culprit, as I sit here trying to pass a massive kidney stone, uh, is water. <laughs> um, so, so, and I'm going to talk all about limits, and I'm going to talk about um, why and how I came up with those numbers. Okay. All right. So first things first, I want to kind of go through and um, make sure that you guys all understand uh, what you guys should have all gotten. So what I did was anybody that was eligible. So basically anybody that's about to sign up for loyal, I got an email at midnight. 
And one thing I want to explain to you guys is um, I recently, well, a year ago, got new software so that I don't have to actually mail out individual emails to all of you now. And what I love about it is I could see when it sends and I could see if you guys receive it and if you guys open it. And what I love about that is sometimes you might click and open it and not realize that you looked at it. And so, so if you didn't get it, I could see that you did. And the biggest, biggest culprit is if you don't make me a, a contact in your email, this stuff gets lost in, in uh, promotions. It gets lost in trash, no matter what. So make me a contact. That's huge. Even if you've gotten mail from me forever, it'll still get lost in there. Okay. So you got your, your, your uh, invitation at midnight. You filled out a survey. That survey went into a, a, a folder where I read them all. Then I personally put your name into the next file, which gave you a coupon code. Now, the reason that I did not just hand out the, um, the, the plans is one, um, I want to make sure that I know who gets these plans because this is not something that I want you guys to go all the time. It is a very restrictive diet. Um, it is not something that you should do year round. Um, I don't think many people could do it year round, but there are people out there that might look at it and go, wow, I'm going to do this. It's going to be the greatest thing. And I don't want to be responsible for, for uh, implying that that, that that is the way that anybody should be restricting themselves. All right. So I want to know who, who's gotten it and I could track it this way by you guys all downloading it. The other reason is um, the file size is too large for me to email it. So um, unless I shrink it and it's just this whole other toboggle and I didn't want to deal with it. So you have to go on my website and, and download it. I gave you guys all a coupon code so it costs you nothing. So if you guys got the coupon code and you downloaded it, you had to go to my website and download it. Now I just looked 108 of you downloaded it, but 135 of you got the coupon code. So somewhere in there, there's some people that didn't download it. And, and if you are one of those people, then you got to let me know. Okay. Um, so, so if you are one of those people privately late, later, shoot me a text message and let me know that you did not download it. All right. I'm going to share my screen real quick. And I am going to show you um what that file looks like Oopsies, wrong file um okay so this is what the file looks like all right this explains everything um i think most of you understand my language at this point um because i was finding that i didn't have to uh answer a lot of questions that pertain to this because you guys get it um you basically get to pick between 1200 and 1400 calories um, a couple of people asked me to help them pick that. I, I can't. I mean, th th that's really your choice. But remember, you do get that wiggle room. So, so you have to, you have to pick a, a number that you think you can do. Don't set yourself up for failure. Okay. Um, but if you are somebody that, 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 has not gained back all of your weight. You're somebody that that really isn't off track. Use these guidelines to, to help you decide. All right, because th this is really I set this up for you to decide which one you prefer. If you're someone that's on a 1400 calorie diet right now, I would not pick 1400. That is not going to do anything for your metabolism. This program was designed to boost your metabolism. You've got to give yourself a little challenge right now for three weeks. So if you're on a 1350 diet right now, I, I, would, I would not do the 1400. All right, it's not giving yourself any kind of challenge. All right, this is three weeks. You guys just had a ho holidays. Um, give yourself a, a, a challenge. You could do this. But if you wholeheartedly don't think you can, then don't set yourself up for failure. Again, this is where I can't, I cannot answer that for you. Okay. All right. So back at this, um, this 
should be 21 days total. Um, if if people ask me when this is done, if they can keep going, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind <laughs> because the answer is no. Um, the, if you do keep going um, with a restricted low calorie, lower than you should, it is going to uh, create a metabolic uh, dependency on this. Uh, like I told you in here, you could wait eight weeks and do it again. If you want to keep watching your sodium, watching your sugar, drinking your water, doing the exercises, keeping the, the artificial sugars out, that, that's why I created this. But I don't want you guys keeping your calories lower than you should. Okay? That, that part um, should not occur. Okay, You could do it for the three weeks and then you go right back into the hundreds of meals that you have. And why would anybody not want to eat a little bit more? And, and if you've been following me at all, you know that increasing your calories the right way, um, systematically, you're not going to gain. You're going to keep losing. This is going to start off that weight loss spiral. Um, I can't see who's all with me. I know that there's like 30 of you with me, but um, Carrie Miller, are you, are you on with me right now? Carrie? If Carrie Miller's on, let me know because I, I kind of did a diet like this with her and she kept losing after her calories went up. It was astonishing. She was floored and, and she could not believe it. And it was, it was kind of like, she was sort of my, my child person. Um, and it was absolutely astonishing. But what she changed the most was that she paid attention to her water, she watched her sodium, she slowed down. Okay? All right. Uh, moving on. Um, these meals here, um, I, I, I went through um, a, lot, a lot of the recipes. Um, and I, I, I gave a lot of them a bit of a twist. Now, I know you guys are going to ask, can I, can I substitute this for that? You know, can, I, can I, you know, take out the spinach and put in the broccoli? Of course you can. You have to, have to, have to have the spinach. Um, basically, if you stick to uh, these recipes, as close as you can without over modifying them, you're going to see a better result. Now I'm gonna give you a little secret. And this is, I have no, I have no scientific backing on this, but I have years and years and years and years of, of proof on this. Anytime I have personally eaten this lentil soup regularly for three weeks like this for lunch, I have, my metabolic rate has hit sky high. But the lentil soup is astonishing for weight loss. It is high in fiber, low in calorie, high in protein. It is, it, it blows me away. So, so if you take that and you say, well, I'm going to, I'm going to sub out the lentils and do black beans, then you're, you're upsetting the apple cart. <clears throat> Okay, um, and, and a lot of this stuff, uh, I could say the same for, um, you know, you could take uh, the, the spinach out and now you're not getting as much of the greens that I want you to get. Um, so I have, I put a lot of thought into uh, this menu to get it to be this way. And the reason that I said you can have the Get You Fit Omelet and the protein shake pretty much anytime you want is because those are great fillers, they're low in calorie, they're easy to make. And anytime that I have been at my wits end and needed to lose weight, those have been my go-tos. I'll have a five egg white omelet when you know, you're just famished, but that's 80 calories. Whip it out, eat it, move on. Three weeks, you could do this, okay? Um, now the dinners. Um, the dinners are um, uh, pretty much the same type of dinners as, as you're eating right now. Uh, they are a little bit lower in carb, 
And one thing that you do need to watch is the sodium in these dinners. So when you are putting these dinners together and I see here a cup of salsa, um, it is your job when you're picking out your salsa to just not pick out any can of salsa because this can of salsa might have quadruple the sodium as this can of salsa. So, so it, it is your job to bring down the sodium level of the salsa, okay? Um, there, there were some questions about this one here. Um, somebody asked, is there really a quarter cup of uh, paprika in this recipe? Yeah, there's really a quarter cup of paprika in this recipe. Um, these are all spices that don't contain any salt besides this one tablespoon of salt. And if you read the directions, it does say that you're, you're draining the, the, the sauce from the pulled pork. This is my way of um, bringing down the sodium level in this, in this recipe, okay? Um, and then of course you have your easy dinner option of just protein, vegetables, and keeping your calorie limit at um, 400. Um, when I was putting this together, and I, I think you guys probably figured out, I didn't leave my computer for three straight days, um, I accidentally deleted, uh, and I actually remember doing it now too, um, this pretty little line here that they all have. Uh, see how it's not here? Well, it's not here because also under it, it said dinner recipes are all six servings. <laughs> and I was so mad when about a hundred of you downloaded it when I realized that it was gone. So, so dinner Portions are all six, which is the, the cardinal get you fit rule anyways. But if you put something together and your dinner for whatever reason, because you you pick a, a fatty piece of pork um, comes out to 480 calories and it's a lot, then you at this point, after being with me for nine to you know 30 months, should know to reduce that down. Um, because you still have to fit within your caloric range. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So talking along, um, I did place these in here. You can have breakfast for lunch, lunch for dinner. Um, if, you're, if you're not hungry, um, this is the one time that you'll hear me say this, just eat the protein part of your meal. Um, that is, that is, that is where this differs from my normal get you fit philosophy. If you're not hungry and you're sitting down at lunch and you have this in front of you, then eat your three ounces of chicken. Um, eat your protein powder without all the fancy dancy stuff, okay? Um, the, the, the rule of fat, protein, carb um, does not exist during this three weeks. And that is why I say you can do it for three weeks, but not again for, for eight weeks. Um, and that is why also I allow somebody to start with me doing this, but I won't allow a phase one, tier one person, tier two person to do this because they haven't been with me for eight weeks. And actually even tier three people are, are not at that point where I would allow them to do it because they're not, their, their metabolisms are still cranking. So I'm, I'm very, very, very uh, careful about who I let do this. Um, and some of you have asked me, should I do this? I don't need to lose weight. Um, sometimes it's not about the weight loss. Sometimes it's about getting your act together with following a plan, watching your sodium, watching your sugar. I mean, I'll admit, I, you know, I weigh 115 pounds, but I, it is because I've gotten my me metabolic rate so perfect. Hang on. But I, I don't do any of these things. So I'm going to do this just to get my act together because I know it's not gonna last forever. So I, I haven't looked at 
sodium or sugar in I don't know how long. So I'm going to do this to establish those habits again. Um, so, so that is, that is what, what I would, I would advise. Okay. Never go longer than three hours without food. Um, any meal option could be eaten at any time. I already said that. Um, if you go off track, like totally rogue, like, like crazy off track day, then resume the next day. And that day's, that day's a, a past day. I mean, you just have to go back and start over the next day. Um, logging and measuring is required. And of course, daily weigh-ins. Okay. Um, all right. Cruising along here. I think that that completes this. Okay. Um, as far as the artificial sweeteners, um, that, that rule, uh, I, I really want people to become aware of all of the uh, sugars that are out there. Um, you know, that is a, uh, a personal preference. There's, there's Tuvia, there's Stevia, there's, there's monk fruit, there's, um, you know, that, that's the one rule that if you, if you personally don't have a problem with the chemical storm that, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, but that's, that's something that I think that we should all start paying attention to because everything is just loaded with artificial sweeteners. Um, if you have a sugar substitute that you like, I, I personally don't like stevia. I think it, it, it tastes bitter. Um, but if there's one that you prefer, um, clear it with me and, you know, we could, we could, uh, throw that one in the mix. Okay. All right. So questions about this or food questions before I go on to the next thing. Can we drink coffee? Yes. Coffee, of course, uh, you can have. Um, and that was, that was one thing that, um, I put on here, the protein coffee you can have. If you're somebody that, that, um, I know a lot of people have been asking me about, uh, intermittent fasting. You know, I hear it all the time. I am not a fan of it. Um, I assure you, if you did it, it would, it would, uh, it would end up backfiring. But during this three week time, if you wanted to play around with it and just get it out of your system. Um, what I would suggest doing with it, have the protein coffee. You could have the protein coffee in the morning and you could have that as your snack. Um, I, I put a direct link on the website um, because at the last minute today, I decided to add a page to the website literally 10 minutes ago. Um, so right here on 21 day makeover, I put a resources page on and I have, uh, I'm going to add to this because I ran out of time, but um, the protein coffee recipe is right here, if you've forgotten it. Um, and the casein pudding recipe is right here. And I'm going to add some other things to this page as well. But the protein coffee, at least gives you some protein um, to nourish you. And again, the key is I don't want you guys uh, going backwards. So at least this is going to keep you full and um, not uh, cause you to, to have a binge attack. Now, as far as coffee cream goes, that was that was probably my biggest question uh, today. I got so many texts on, on coffee cream. Um, just like anything, you have your caloric limit, you have to fit your calories all in. So if you need to have your half and half, and you can make it fit in your 1200 or 1400 calories, then measure it, but be careful with it because I know how that goes. The first day you're using a, a measuring system and then slowly but surely that coffee gets lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. So if, if this is something that you want to pick, you want to learn to not be drinking coffee cream like you are, this is the time to learn how to do it. Um, I'm not suggesting you give it up, but if you've had this secret desire to give it up, now's the time to try it, okay? Um, there are a ton of uh, coffee creamers out there that are uh, low in sugar, but now you have your artificial sugar. So you gotta kind of look 
and see, you can have as much of it as you want, as long as it fits in your caloric uh, intake. Okay. I was telling people, um, you know, those, those pre-made protein shakes that are in the little cartons. Um, if you bought those and use that as coffee creamer, I mean, really that's the same thing as protein coffee. Um, but it seems to be a little thicker. Um, and so it, it, it I've, I've heard people say that they, they really enjoy that. Okay. Irene, one more question. Um, don't shoot me. Was the pro, was your muffin left off of here deliberately? Yep. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's my go-to. I'm Thank sorry. You. I know. Okay. I know. Now, again, it's, 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 it's a, uh, it's just kind of like a, a reboot, detox kind of situation. Three weeks will go by fast. And, and you know what? I don't know. Is, is Christy on here? Christy, Ambassador Christy? She, she won't mind me saying this, but she was, her weight kind of floated up a little bit. And I went on her fitness pal and, um, and, uh, it was the baked goods, even though they were all get you fit baked goods. Sometimes, you know, we, even though they're measured and they're figured in when you omit them for three weeks, your metabolism moves. It, it's again, it, this is just things, these are things that I have found from, from myself and coaching others that when I, I ask people to take things out of their diet and then I see the movement and then you put them back in, it's not like you're gonna gain, but it's, it's a nice little refresher. Okay. Now, as far Sharon, as- I have a question. Oops. Yeah. It's, hi, it's Sharon. Um, for the protein coffee, is that going to be like, if you have the protein coffee, is that going to be like your breakfast? Well, it depends on how much protein you put in it. If you're just putting in, uh, you know, a little bit of it and it comes out to be, you know, 35 calories worth of creamer, uh -huh. no. But if you end up using okay. a full entire scoop, then yes. Oh yeah, no, I don't. I was just confused because on the on the plan, it said, get you fit omelet or protein coffee. So I was like, oh, so do I have that as my breakfast? Yeah, yeah. If you do, if you do like the full entire scoop, it would be 150 calories. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, some people will take it, make it um, with uh, almond milk, and then mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you took a full, you took a full scoop for 150 calories, and then a cup of almond milk for 30, and made a shake, and you used that as your creamer. I mean, that that could be for like all day, and that that could be like six cups of coffee. So you could kind of disperse that throughout the day. Okay. Okay. And then I know that a couple of people asked about alcoholic beverages. Again, fit that in the day. I'm just saying that that, that is totally going to be my wiggle room, 120 calories. <laughs> So, you know, you do have that wiggle room, which I'm going to get to next. And so you could fit that in. And if that's what you want to do with your coffee creamer, do that with your coffee creamer. If you want to do that with your popcorn, I know some people asked about the popcorn. Do that with your popcorn. And I suppose if you want to do that with your muffin, then do that with your muffin. Because, you know, you, you get that, you do get that wiggle room. Okay. All right. Questions? Irene, this is Kathy Yinger. Hey, we're allowed to have herbal tea, correct? I don't drink coffee, so I bet in. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Okay, so, um, all right, so uh, I'm going to kind of just take you uh, a step back here to make sure that you guys all understand the progression of what uh, it looks like most people um, got what they were supposed to get. But um, after, you, after you received, um, your packets. Um, the next thing that you received was the uh, struggle bus coupon. Obviously, I'm sorry, that was the first thing. Then you got your packet. Um, after that, we got your uh, your wiggle room. Uh, I can't. These aren't labeled, so here it is. You got your wiggle wiggle room um, explanation. Okay, so did this make sense that you have this 10% wiggle room? Um, obviously, it would be completely impossible to hit these numbers exactly. 
but um, basically your wiggle room is enabling you to uh, get a little variance if you go over your sodium or you go over your water or under your water. Um, and um, it also gives you the ability um, to uh, uh, make up by doing extra exercises. So does everyone understand that about the exercises? So if you don't drink enough water, then you can go for an extra 10 minute walk and make up for it. Um, I, I had somebody, and I, and I know she's here because she, she chimed in, um, flat outside, there's no way I'm drinking all that water. I, I just know myself, I'm not drinking it all. And so I said, okay, well, then can you just do an extra DMV of the day? I mean, that's a good trade-off. Three extra minutes of a little exercise trade-off for the water. Um, and, and so, you, you know, you can work yourself up to that, that 120 ounces. The purpose of the gallon of water, and that is a gallon, it's eight ounces shy of a gallon, is this. If I'm passing a kidney stone and I'm drinking it, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, the reason is this, for real. There is a process that your body goes through in, um, in detoxing. Um, and so when you initially drink water, um, day one or two, when you drink the water, you, your, your body kind of holds it a little bit. Um, after you have had water for a series of a week or two, um, the, the process of, of elimination takes place and you will literally start to feel the difference in your skin, in your hair, in your nails. You will, after about two weeks, notice that even when you're not drinking water, you're going to the bathroom. It is your body flushing itself of, of not only toxins, but it's, it's like an edema that's happening. It's almost equivalent to after you have surgery when you're holding fluids and all those fluids are flushing out. So once you start this process of drinking this amount of water for two to three weeks, um, one, you're going to build the habit of doing it. So if you don't continue drinking a gallon of water after, and you go down to a half a gallon or your 70 ounces or 80 ounces, you will find that you are going to keep on flushing like you are flushing when you're drinking that gallon. It's going to take three or four or five days for your body to catch up to that flushing system. But the day is going to come where like all of us at once are going to be like, whoa, like bathroom time, because it, it, it's almost like a, a delay. And if you've ever done this with water, it's exactly what happens. There's a slight delay. And then it's just like literally the floodgates open. So, so my suggestion is this. Don't for one second think that you're going to sit down with water and guzzle it all at once. You, of course need to space it out. Um, so the old trick of get a 32 ounce tumbler and fill it up. How many times would that be? My brain's not working right now. I put in overtime. So so how many times that tumbler has to be fill it up and try to get yourself to that point. Also um, for this program, um, uh, I really do want you guys to get used to just drinking water. Um, just like I said in the, in the write-up, we have gotten ourselves so tarnished with all the bubblies and all of the other things. And even though they do hydrate you, um, we've gotten away from water. And from a personal standpoint, I, I was at the point where I wasn't drinking any water because um, when I found out that bubblies and liqueurs were allowed, um, I, I literally stopped drinking water for, for months. And uh, then when COVID happened and I couldn't get to the store to get the bubbly and get my soda stream filled, I was forced to drink regular water and I forgot how amazing it is. So you, you really do need to acquire a taste for it. And like I said in the write-up, you got to get the temperature just right. You got to get your, your container just right. I'm the pickiest water container like like, don't give me water in the wrong cup. I won't drink it. So find what works for you and try to hit that water goal. And if you don't, you, 
go for an extra 10 minute walk, do a, an extra DMV or use your, use your, um, your free pass. Okay. All right. Uh, questions about the wiggle, wiggle sheet, wiggle room. Okay, so I did not get that email out. What was that? Oh, that's an AD and I did not get the wiggle uh, sheet email. Well, I just checked my emails. Uh, you didn't get the wiggle room one? I, I, I'll check. I'll check later. Okay. Okay. Um, hey, Irene. Uh huh. Um, I had a question about that slip sheet. Um, are we supposed to be able to do all that shading and filling it in on, like, in a PDF form, or do you want us to print it out and fill it out? Um, whatever you want to do. I mean, I don't. The way that I I I put this one up. Oh, okay. I put this one up. Um, I mean, I can send you guys uh, the actual workbook because then you'd be able to, but in, in this form, you can't. So no. you want me to put the okay. actual workbook up? Because then you could. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Yeah. That would okay. be great. That would, that would yeah. help. That would okay. be good. I don't know if I could link it to the website, but I'll just, I'll just send it. And then these are, somebody said, I think somebody said that these weren't live links. They, they should be. Yeah, they worked for me. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, I just three. wasn't able to. I modified electronically okay. like you did. Um, Irene, yeah. then on the slip sheet, um, number 15 is missing, just so you know. <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah, you went 13, 14, 16. Oh, God. Are you serious? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, well, I got to redo it anyways then. Also, like to me. the last couple columns are different than the example you show. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. So for the example, uh, here, let me open them up again. I just shut it. Okay, so this is the example. Um, for the example, I put a column for extras and a column for number of reds. Um, no, sorry, this is not, I'm getting myself confused. This is not the example. The example is, I know what you're saying. Uh, the, the, they are different. Um, the example one I did so that you guys understood what I was trying to say, like otherwise you wouldn't have understood what I was trying to say. You, you get what I'm saying? So on the example, I put, I put these columns so that you would understand the math. If you would like, on the revised sheet, I could put these extra columns in. Does that help you with math? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll revise them and, and send that. So I will revise this and send the uh, the workbook for people that want it. Perfect. Okay. All right. So um, then we have the emergency ticket. So basically these tickets are for when you just have a day that, uh, that you, or I'm sorry, that you need to uh, redeem to save a day. And uh, literally, if you have a day where you are going to slip for the day, but you wanna save the slip, then you can turn in a ticket and then the day won't be a slip day, okay? So the way you redeem them is right here. Um, post a picture on Facebook and invite yourself to be an accountability part partner. You guys read all these, you could text me a picture, direct text another member. Um, somebody already today uh, texted me to be their accountability partner. That was very funny. Um, and, uh, or post a picture of your ticket on Facebook. Um, I also today added this uh, to our Facebook page. I don't know if anybody noticed this, but I added, uh, no, this isn't updated. I put, um, Oh, it's not up. Never mind. I'll show you guys later. Um, so anyhow, 
Uh, so that is how you redeem your ticket. If you don't end up uh, using your ticket, um, you will get a point for it. And I will reveal what that means next week. To keep you guys on your toes. So any questions? Sorry, I'm kind of confused on the column that says pass. Does that mean like we did everything right if we would have passed? No, no, no. Um, pass means, let me open it up again. Um, pass means that you passed. You passed for the day. Okay. So slip means that you slipped. So you're allowed three slips. Um, three slips is the minimum that you want to get. The maximum, I mean, that you want to get. So these, this person here passed every day except for three days. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. I mean, this might be a stupid question, but on this example, mm -hmm. um, are we supposed to be on our blank slip sheet be, uh, every day being to be able to put in the amount of sodium we've had, if we've had any, or is that just in excess? Uh, no, this is a, I just was blurbing out. You could do whatever you want. You could do the excess or you could do the total. Okay, so not, then I'm not, to gonna, calculate, I'm not gonna, what? To calculate the total then, just go by the recipe, what, what is allowed? In the recipe? No, you're gonna go, you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna open up your fitness pal because at the end of your fitness pal day, it'll show it'll show your total uh, number of grams of uh, of sodium. And okay. Put that number in. So if you write okay. if you log everything into fitness pal, um, at the end of your day, it'll show your uh, your sodium for the day. So right here. Okay. Got that? Got it. So you you could monitor your sodium intake by, you know, as you're logging and go like, whoa. I saying? honestly, I honestly never looked at that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 really eye-opening when you start paying attention to it. And then your sugars are right here. So these are your sugars right here. Okay. And, then, and this is your sodium right here. So okay. Somebody asked. Somebody asked me today. Are we paying attention to macros? I'm. 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 You guys are so focused on, you know, the carbs and the fats and the proteins. I want to bring light and bring your attention to sodium and sugar because it's going to really enlighten you to see. I mean, this person here. I just pulled someone random off of, off. Uh, from the program, this is astronomical. I mean, you you should be you should be getting uh, the FDA suggests twenty six hundred a day, and so that thirty six hundred is astronomical. Um, somebody a heart patient should be at um, twelve to fifteen hundred if somebody is on is has hypertension. Uh, if you have high blood pressure, you should be way under fifteen hundred. So that gives you an idea of how high sodium is, and and looking at some of these totals, um, that's where that's where cheese is your enemy. So okay, and then and sugars too, you know. So this person here would have stayed, probably been fine with uh, the sugar total if she hadn't put um, sweet baby rays on her uh, dinner. So I mean, twenty four. That's that's a whole day's worth. So just, just start paying attention. And, and these are the things, this is why I, I created this, is this is these three weeks are going to change the way you start looking at labels because there's some stuff that you guys are not paying attention to that I think are making a difference in your palates, in the way that you, your beverages, that you're drinking. Um, my requirement of drinking water before your meal and after your meal that's going to change uh, your, your satiation levels of how full you are before you eat, after you eat. Um, so these are all little, little uh, habits that, that you can do. So. 
Um, any more questions? So, so the pass. One more thing about the pet. The about the. Um, well, this is the wiggle room email. Um, Nadine, you didn't get this one here, the, the blue one here. Not that I could see in my email, but I'm going to ch check my uh, junk mail again too. Okay. Um. Uh. The. The um. I lost what I was going to say. Uh. What did I start? What did I start my sentence with? Uh, and, oh, yeah, the, free pass. Uh, the free pass cannot be used. The, the, the tickets cannot be used if your calories go over. The emergency tickets can only be used for um, your salt, your water, and your uh, sugar. And I purposely did that because those are things you're not used to. So if you go over um, and you want to use your free pass, you don't have to use your free pass. If you go over by by a little bit for sodium or sugar, go for a 10-minute walk instead. Um, do an extra DMV. You know, you, you could literally go through this whole program without using your emergency tickets. So. Irene, this is Julie Solomon. Um, for the slip sheet, do we show it to you? Yeah. Like it's a week, every day. Do we just screenshot it or? At the end. At the end, okay. Okay, and then I had one more question about it. It says the, I think it was uh, hashtag RED on one of them. What was that one? Which one? Um, in the slip sheet example towards, it says, I don't have my glasses on, um, hashtag, I think it says RED, then pass, then slip. Maybe it's, it was on the example, so maybe it's not on the other one. Um, hmm. it, it was on the example. Uh-huh. You, you'll have to send it to me. I don't, I'm not okay. sure. Okay, it's not on the one that we're filling out, so I figured I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so. yep. Okay. 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 All righty. Well, and, and the bottom line is have fun with it. I don't want you guys to be stressed out. I think, I think you guys are gonna, um, uh, you know, my, my intention was for you to uh, enjoy this too. Um, I'm reading your, I'm reading your uh, comments now. Who is the woman? Uh, in the uh, uh, in the struggle bus, so I, I use a I use a program called uh, Canva, and when I was putting this together, I originally had and Sharon, you saw it. I originally had yeah. uh, this, this <laughs> poster of like workout bottle and like you know an apple and a tape measure, and I mean I obsessed with what was my cover going to be, and then. Literally, after I posted it, and I, I originally posted that one, I I saw this bus, and it like started this whole like bus theme. So I put in bus, and then the, that woman came up, and I just maybe I was tired, but I started laughing like by myself. I'm like, she just looks so funny. She's like the bus driver, and then I named her Betty. I'm like, Betty the bus. <laughs> So then when I, I searched Canva and there's a bunch of images of her. So that's who she is. She's, she's no one that I know. <laughs> so she's our, she's our friend, Betty the bus driver. So um, we, don't, we don't know her. She's, she's a fictional character. Um, there are a bunch of other ones, but I, I picked Betty. So anyways, all right. Well, if you guys don't have any more questions, I think I got all the other ones. Um, hang on. If you're over sodium or sugar, uh, it doesn't have to be ignite or DMV. It could be, yeah, it could be any, it could be any workout. It could be any workout. So you can go jogging, you can go on your elliptical, you can go on your Peloton. Any workout that's at least 10 minutes will negate and oops, 
So if you go over by, you know, your calories, and did you guys get the whole calorie thing? If you go over by your calories by a thousand, you got to make up more than just one. You can't eat a thousand calories and then just go do three minutes of a DMV and be like, I'm even. You got that, right? Okay. I try to work out all the loopholes. I did teach fifth grade once. <laughs> so, is that your puppy? I got. Yes. I got, I got one here. Say hi. Say no, hi. Booing, no booing on his. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hi, Boston. <laughs> Little puppy, say hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Mm -hmm. I will talk to you later. Oh, and then one more thing. Um, oh, I my producer just texted. Uh, I did an awesome show. Awesome, awesome for the new year. It's so good. It's about being sustainable. Um, and we did it over Zoom because of the storm. And it sounds horrible. And I did it three times. I taped it over three times. It's supposed to go in today, but this stone's killing me. So I'm going to post it anyways, but please listen to it, even though it sounds muffly. So it's, it's horrible, but I'm going to post it right now. But please listen to it. It's really good. Um, you'll love it. It's a good start the new year one. So, all right. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Ray. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Right, thanks. thanks.